Now we are going to have a short film about FGM and I'm going to welcome our brother is going to, to show us a film within the next five minutes. Then we continue with the children light. Children light. Once upon a time, there was a tribe in Kenya. The Maasai, a brown nomadic tribe with their own traditions. A tribe with great respect and beauty. The men are very good hunters. Even the animals respect them. Cows and goats are their main possession, and there are strict rules for men and women.
My name is Abigail Sabina Lakara. I'm 12 years old. I am a Maasai girl. If a girl who wants to be known as a Maasai must to be in good seasons and to remove the two teeth so that now you are a Maasai. These ones, they take a, a thing like a stick that is, is, is made of metallic. They put in the fire, this one, they put in the fire. It will be very, very, very hot. Now they take and do it. Funny pain. They do it to children. The children will cry a lot because it's very pain. Do you remember it? I don't remember this one while I was put because I was small. But I remember this. This was very pain. My eye lose a lot of blood. And I told my parents that. If, because I know they will not grow again, I don't run again to see any of my stepbrother or stepsister being done that. survival. It's the same thing, right to life and right to survival. And to survive, these are the basic things that a child needs. Whenever a child is unwell, he or she must be taken to hospital. That means he must get proper health care. Okay? Yes. Then, you can't walk naked. A child must have proper clothing as much as you have a right there are responsibility that you have to give that corresponds with the rights that you are supposed to to receive then you have a right to parents and family guidance can somebody read for us the responsibility for that? Listen and dialogue with the parents. Yeah. You have to listen when your parents are talking to you. And when you have any problem, you have to talk to them. That is to dialogue. You tell them about your problem, then they guide you and show you the way out. Then you have a right to immunization what is the responsibility for the right to immunization yeah whenever you are taken for an immunization you need to cooperate without disturbance then a right to medical care we need good health we need medical care what is the responsibility that we are supposed to give in return? Yeah? Report when feeling unwell. Some children don't report because they fear to be injected. Some fear medicine. So they don't, they don't report. You have to report when you are feeling unwell. The last one is feeding and good diet. You have a right to be given food to feed and feed in good diet, a balanced diet. What is the responsibility to that? You have to assist when the food is being prepared. Maybe you get sent to the shop. If we have a garden, when the garden is being prepared, you assist. When the food is being prepared, also you assist. Thank you very much. We have learned about children rights. Children, 
right. right. Thank you very much. You know you are right. You are going to ask for notes to be provided later. Thank you very much. Now we are going to learn about briefs. Why people still practice FGM and they are educated. Some are professors, some are our teachers, some are pastors, some are our elders, our fathers and mothers. They have been to school, but they still uh, subject our children. They still subject girls to FGM. Why? So, Jonathan Sonobusu believes on FGM. There are some people who believe that and when a girl or else a lady, a yakatwa, such a lady, such a girl cannot succeed in life. But as we know this, the key to success is education. Is what? The key to success is not FGM. Single katoa. The key to success is educa education. So, when our new mother or your katoa are teacher, teachers. So, just the root. So, when you move out, we make katoa. Bad dog. We take katoa. We take katoa. Serio. As soon as we start to say katoa, sawa. At the word ko sawa. We when we declare Mary, Maria. Some people practice FGM. As a part of their religion. If I know the church you go, and the pastor says, Praise God, you say, Amen. Amen. And then the pastor says, Let our girls be cut. My dear friend, you gonna come out from that church and join mine. If FGM was good, marry the mother of Jesus would have been what cut. But the guy who was circumcised was. Jesus Christ. At the end of how many days? How many days? How many days? Why not any lady? That means that even the biblical, it is very wrong. Wrong. The other belief as to why people practice is based on tradi traditions. In communities where all women have FGM and all girls are expected to have it, it can seem like there is no choice. And it's very difficult for girls to challenge these traditions. Yes, very true. Because we find, we find that your father, your mother, your grandfather, your grandmother, they want you to be what cut. But it is yes, it is a challenge to our girls. But we can overcome that one through educa education. When you are educated, you have your master degree. Nobody can say that. Because you you know the knowledge, isn't it? And the knowledge has set you free, as the Bible would say, says. So let us not perish because of knowledge, lack of knowledge. Let us be saying, my body, my life. Can you say my body, my life? My body, my life. My body, my life. Again? My body, my life. See, what is my body, my life. And then you touch everywhere. Yeah, my life. These are my private spas. Private spas. Private spas. These are my private spas. No one to touch them. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us go for potatoes. Nobody is going to touch your private parts. If you have been cut, if you have been mutilated as a girl, please go to the doctor, and doctor will help you. Go to your teacher, go to your pastor, go to, to somebody who knows uh, psychologist, psychologist, go to counseling, and you are going to be helped, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna be a man, 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 I'm gonna be a man,